Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of EU4 as the Golden Horde. Come on Ottomans, give me your favors so I can drag you into a war that you'll hopefully be hurt by. Ah, these finances. Fine, we're gonna pay that loan back and then we are gonna do other things. But yeah, we have to turn we have to start conquering land now, definitely. Autonomy is gonna go up or our efficiency. Definitely not. We have a completely new roof, new ceiling. We're gonna get tons of absolutism. Gonna save up points a bit. Because now we have to unleash. Unleash the Kraken. Not quite, but uh, anyway. Right, we're 210 points. Uh, still not gonna be enough, is it? Each development is 38. Yeah, we need more points before I can invest in the local autonomy thing. It's probably kind of stupid. We might want to stay up on... You know what? We're going to stay up on tech instead. Let's stay up until the tech. 76. Six years. Yeah. We want to just save up points for tech. That's what we really want to do. Because that means we're going to get trade efficiency, right? For being ahead of time. Oh, I didn't uh, check to see if we got the favor. We got, got it, right? What? 16... Seven, what the hell? It said 60... Uh. Okay, so if we go now, we can do it. We can. Oh, we have to go in without favors. Can I hold off against France? I mean, I can steamroll Lithuania, but the problem is... What about France? If they don't win their war over here... Then we're golden, but I don't know when they started that war. Oh, poor Malaka! Oh, dear me! Yeah, they're in trouble. They're winning against France because France doesn't have the war goal. It's been occupied by us some other people. But France do have, does have troops over here, doesn't they? No, that's occupied by Malacca. They don't actually... They haven't actually done a damn thing over here. So either I hold a bit and hope that France doesn't come and crush me. Wait, did you finish your war? No. You just finally freed up the siege provinces. I don't have the favors now, though. Mm. And January of 1670 is a bit too far away. You'd even take an alliance now. France would ally me. I take that alliance. Though they're gonna break that instantly though. Because they're defender of the faith. Right? I just wanna see. Any war you fight is not one I'm gonna be interested in really, so. But of course that means there's no chance in hell the other guys will fall ally me. But that is quite okay. France is a good ally for me. Tuscany might not be a bad ally either. Whoa! Okay, Savoy is a junior partner of Tuscany. Really? Okay, Tuscany, you're my friend. So you're actually much, much power more powerful. And you uh, Yeah, um... Yeah, sure, let's be friends. Let's try to build up some anti-Ottoman force for the future. So let's do this. I want to see how they react. You're still at that war, though. Would you still defend them? Unfortunately, yes.
Ah, uh, fine. And I can't declare war on Poland because that would mean the Ottomans would come in on their side. Yep. So that's not the thing to do. Sweden, I need to throw the truce. Uh, you're not guaranteeing anyone else or anything, right? No. Ah, but my armies are over there. I can't really do anything else. Right, but Manus is still the guarantee of, guarantee of peace there. Is there any way I can drag you into a war with the Bamanus? Ten favors and the truce, that's gonna go away and it's destabilitating. But you'll still be at a minus a hundred something something. Yeah, no, you never join a direct war with Bamanus. Nor did I think you would. But I think I can handle, handle a direct war with Bamanus on my own now. So that's okay. Direct war with the Timurids is also interesting. Gujarat and Chagatai would both answer the call. That's fine. Ethiopia is guaranteed by the Ottomans. Yes, they are. I could go and sort out at the coast of Ajuran. Marawi. We have a couple of areas we could probably do things. You're allied to Buganda. Okay. Did any of you take uh, expansion or anything like that? No? No. I know they have some random events to settle new provinces, but that's a really expensive events, so they're probably not going to do that. Uh, I don't really want to wait 10 years. Still, we're allied to France now. Let's uh, cement that relationship. Sure. Running out of places to convert. That is not something I would have thought <laughs> back in the day. You know what, we have the claims. Let's just get this, these spies back. We're not fighting the war, so it doesn't really matter. I only need only one, one claim to actually start the war. The rest is just saving diplomatic points, which is okay, I guess. But So, now that we've made new friends, are there any others? Our Inquisitor died. Well, that's timely of him, I suppose. Uh, Lüneburg, Hamburg, Bremen, Scotland, Portugal. A lot of nations down there. But none that can really help me against the Ottomans, which is what I'm interested in. Anyways, our Inquisitor died, which is unfortunate, but that's okay too. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, well, we have prestige. Could get a tax guy and just boost him up. For more monies. Keeping the prestige at high would also be okay. Uh, are you of the proper, proper religion? You are an accepted culture. Right, I should be able to boost you up. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, okay, so it's that expensive. So this is twice the cost of... Oh, okay, never mind then. That was a bit more expensive than I thought. Possible, though. Uh, you're a cheaper guy, aren't you? Yes, you are, so... You know what? Do that. We're kind of short on diplomatic points right now. Why not? Speaking of diplomatic points, I don't need this anymore, I think. Save those diplomatic points. Uh, you're still going to be able to convert those, right? Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. Okay, so what we're waiting for, basically, is this war to end. Oh, you're going to win victory now. 
It's gonna end in victory now. Boo. Uh, legalism, thank you. Uh, that's unfortunate. Is there any way I can make you not answer the call? 22. Oh, there's the piece. Yeah, France won, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be a white piece, because then we they would lose the uh, <sighs> mandate. Unfortunately, that's not how it's going to be. And with the, without the Ottomans, I do not want to fight France. And the truce with Sweden isn't up until... 71. I suppose I can fight a small war somewhere else then. Is there anything... You have a gold mine, that's true, but it's not really a good one and I can't really develop the ones I have anyway. I'd probably be better served trying to get rid of this, but that would require me taking Indone uh, Indonesia and taking Madagascar. Ah, da -da 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 -da. It's going to take like two years to move my army over here anyway, so that's why. <laughs> Hell with it. Let's wait. Let us wait. I shouldn't have boosted up those favors, though. Ah, well. January 1670. Yeah. Uh, can we repay the loan already? No. Oh, yeah, we should probably repay that first. 2,000 ducats. Tolsk, that's fine. And just one province to go. Uh, I don't think I want to take Defender of the Faith. It's not really going to give us anything. Is there any chance? We're going to try to ally Brandenburg. And then I'm going to try to do whatever I can to sort out this border here. I'm, again, we're going to try to boost up our situation with France. There is a chance that they will not honor the call of Lithuania. Slim chance, but we'll have to try. They're now our allies, so... Uh, offer mill access, sure. Anything to try to, like, sort out the relationship here. Oh, there goes the piece with Ming. Just more monies. Wait, what? Oh! You pieced their allies. You're still in the war. Okay, there's still, there's still a chance to lose a war. Oh. Come on, France, lose that war. Lose that war. Lose that war. And repay that debt. Away it goes. I don't want it. Okay, how are the forts doing? Have we gotten a new fancy forts yet? No, they're still being built. No, there it is. It just finished. Excellent. This one's still being built. Very good. I think manufactories are next. I mean, you can build one manufactory every three months. I do think I want to do that. Because we're going to boost up the trade value as in something insane. And that's going to... As long as we secure our trade node, node. Which we can do by, you know, taking this land and... Yeah. We're definitely going to do that. And look at this. I love seeing this. I love seeing the Ottomans kind of struggle. I mean, they're still winning. 
But they're losing battles now. Despite their insane numbers. 155 mercenaries. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, have fun, Ottomans. Have fun. We're just gonna sit over here and, you know, watch. Watch the fireworks. Oh, you join now because you. Whoa, whoa, you. What? You said 1670, and all of a sudden I have the favors. Okay, so I have a choice. I can start the war right now. I thought I saw the Swedes with the 44k stack earlier. Do they really have that many troops? They do indeed. So Portugal, or Sweden and Poland do actually have a fair size army. So I might want to use the Ottomans there instead. Though then they would definitely take the land from Poland, right? No. They have no interest in Polish land. At all. Huh. They're not interested in Hungary either. Okay, so I can call the Ottomans in on one war. <sighs> okay, so I need to know, when did their war with Malacca start? Because the AI will tend to peace out after five years, right? If they haven't made any real progress. Doesn't it show that somewhere? Relations, current wars, yes. Conquest of Jambi. Does not specify when it started. Okay, you have an alliance attitude towards me. My relations will not change that. Okay. Is there anything I can do to influence this? It's a defensive war, which is why you want to come in. Um, attitude towards enemies, minus 20. I can't change the attitude, it's an ally attitude. I cannot raise French war exhaustion. Or I can just say sod it, blitz this Lithuania before they come over here. I mean, it all depends. Uh, where are the French armies? Oh! <laughs> um, I, it just dawned on me, I can actually see French armies because we, you know, are allies right now. So where are your armies? You only have like 4k of them at home. French Colombia? No. French Peru? I can't see the territories there. You might have, they might well be there. French Natal? No. Seriously, though. Okay, there you have some forces. But that's it. Yeah, either I have to wait and just gamble that France will actually, you know, lose that war. If they're sending forces in over land right now... That might be well be what they're doing. Oh, 
Oh my! An Imperial Reform. While in the midst of a massive war. Third Reform. Go you. And there's the peace. That's why <laughs> they ceded that one province. So they lost, and we are capped on points. Ah, um. Da, 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 da. Here you go. Some investments. Okay. So we either wait or we just go for it. Most likely, uh, I should, should have checked that earlier. By giving them military access, they're going to move, move all their forces through our territory. All the bloody way over there. However, let's see, I'm gonna, let's have a look. Austria, Dai Viet, Ming, Multan, Kedah, French Columbia, French Peru, and California. I assume then by having access to Austria, you get access to the entirety of the HRE. No access to Ming and Dai Viet. Yes, you're going through my territory. You know what? Let's wait and see. Because if the French troops are in my territory... Oh. Inside to rival France, that's um, timely. But I don't think you're going to break your lines with me. France might, though. They might decide, yeah, you know what, I don't want to be your body anymore. They have a lot of rivals. Including Ming, wow. <laughs> yeah, so most likely France is going to win this war in the long term. Kedah fought to a white piece, good for them. Is that the only French tank I, s I can see? Is that the only French tank? I think it just might be. The reason I don't want to declare war now is because I'm kind of fearful that all the French armies are right now in Poland or something. So that as soon as we declare war, their, their armies are gonna be there. Uh, but I don't see their forces. And I'm getting kind of wondering, getting kind of curious about this. Where are their armies? I mean, I can't see whatever they have in the other bits there. They don't have anything stationed down here. They do have a massive fleet, though, with 50 transports. Okay, I'll hold on. I want to see where this little force k stack is going. As soon as this one is in our territory, then we might declare war. There aren't any French armies at home. They are going to have a massive amount of fleets. Who did you rival? Liege, okay. But we need to get this started. We need to get this started. This is just starting... This is, this is dragging out much too far. Far too much. So, no, I don't think... So you're going there. You wouldn't go through the northern part then. You know what? Nothing mentioned, nothing gained. Uh, I think we're just gonna go for it and see what the hell happens. It can't possibly end well. But it is gonna be the Lithuania that leads the war, so even if push comes to shove, 
we should be able to end it fairly quickly. And I can't do anything about this, unfortunately. So we're going to break the alliance. Or they're going to break the alliance because it's defensive. They're not going to lose that war. Hmm. I'm going to take a quick break and think about this, and we'll probably start the war and just see what happens. I, I need to get started. I can't let. I can't wait anymore. I need to sort my uh, Western Front out and then go east and just get things done. Time for a break. Thank you for watching. <laughs>